guys so I'm here with a collective haul these are just a few things that I've just kind of picked up here and there over the past few months um, most of these are hair items of course because I'm transitioning and so I'm just always on the hunt for the best hair products for my hair um, I have one beauty item and a few clothing items but like I said mostly hair items so I will get the um, beauty and clothing items out the way so the one beauty item that I have is this contour kit from Anastasia. Um, I got this a few months ago. At one point everybody was just like all about this contour kit and I'm not a big contour person like I bronze um, in the contour areas but I don't contour. But you know when there's just something that everybody just keeps talking about all the time and you really don't want it but then you kind of want it just because you hear about it so much and you just like you just want to give in to all of the hype behind a product. Well, this was one of those products. Um, I didn't buy it for a long time because I'm like, I don't need it. I gave in and I got it. And I've used it a few times. Not much. I think it'd be good for traveling because it kind of has a lot of the things you need. You can use it for eyeshadow, your banana powder, your bronzing, contouring, your nose. It's nice because, you know, you have all the colors you need for your contouring. And highlighting all in one um, so like I said it's a good thing to use to travel with but nothing too major I just had to get it just because I like to buy things that I don't need <laughs> um, the next things that I got so this is just a super casual outfit from Old Navy sometimes I find like cute little casual things in there um, lately I've just been into the whole flannel tied around your waist and some little jeans and a tank top type look so I just got this um, pink and burgundy kind of flannel from Old Navy um, and this tank that I can wear with it and then just a pair of kind of like uh, grayish black distressed jeans so yeah they just kind of have like some distressing on the legs and then at the knees they kind of have little rips which I don't generally like at the knees because I'm like it sometimes it looks kind of stupid but these are really cute on to the hair products curling enhancing smoothie I used it like once or twice it didn't really do anything special for me I didn't love it um, but I just decided to hold on to it because as my hair changes different products will work better for my hair and some of my products that I love might not work so well for my hair as it continues to grow out so I just thought I would hold on to this one so that's that okay this is the only thing from Karen's Body Beautiful hairline that I've ever purchased just because I haven't heard too too much about it I've heard a little bit about the line but I think it's kind of overpriced personally for just like a basic natural hair care product at Target but Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is the Super Duper Hydrating Hair Cream Moisturize, Strengthen, and Seals. Really what I love about it is really just the scent. It smells so good. It's like, I love fruity scents, so it's just like a nice fruity scent. I did try to use it to um, seal my ends and to moisturize my roots that have grown out, and it didn't moisturize it at all. Really, I think this just good like once I take my you know braid out twist out whatever I'm doing take that out just to kind of rub a little bit between my hands just kind of put over my hair just to give it like a nice fruity scent um but really that's it and then and like I said I got this one this was like three three thirty three dollars and thirty cents or something like that so I was like why not try it? so this is the I hope I'm saying this right Alake Naturals this is the Alake Naturals line this is another line that I've seen at Target a lot um but I just haven't been interested in trying. Some of the things I think are a little overpriced, but I don't know, for some reason I was like, let me just try it. So I purchased the Moisture Rich Hair Parfait and the Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. And the Parfait says it's for kinky curly hair and the Leave-In Conditioner says it's for kinky, curly, wavy, or straight hair. So got these two. Um, if you guys want reviews on like full reviews on any of these products let me know and I can do that for you guys these two I have used a few times and I will say I think I really do love the moisture rich hair parfait what I do with this um, it says to use these two together 
But what I really love about this, regardless of what products I'm using, I will use this to kind of moisturize my, um, I guess the new growth, the hair that's, that's already grown out. And it just, it keeps it super moisturized and soft throughout the whole time like I try to I wash my hair at least once a week sometimes more but minimum once a week and so when I just put these on my roots when I'm like moisturizing and sealing my hair and all that stuff um, after I wash it it really it moisturizes it really well so if your hair is a little dry or you're transitioning and you're experiencing that dryness that comes along with transitioning this will be really really good to get next thing I have is Old Faithful the Hicks Edges Gel this is my second jar love it i'll keep purchasing it works great and yeah you guys know a lot of people love this so you guys know all about that next i have two packs of the apogee two-step protein treatment i've had these for so long because i did one a while back and i wanted to do another one again i get two because i have a lot of hair so i need more than one but i've been so lazy i just because you gotta Put in your hair then you gotta dry it then you gotta go back in and just it's just a lot of steps so <laughs> i haven't found the time to do this yet but i need to do this soon because it is really good for your hair but because i was so lazy to do this i got the apogee keratin two minute reconstructor because i'm like i've had this sitting in my bathroom for so long and i haven't you know done the two-step treatment let me find something that's a little quicker so I found this and it's not I don't think it's as strong as a two-step treatment but it's really good I've used it once I love it and I'll talk more about this um, maybe in a favorites but yeah love this it's great next I have okay I have an array of brushes so I've seen this brush in CVS for a long time this is the Revlon Amber Waves brush. So basically, this brush is just supposed to make it easy to use gel and to brush down your edges. And I've been looking at it for a long time, but I was like, I don't need another brush. And then for some reason, one day I was like, oh, let me just try it. Let me get it. And it's good. Like, you can just use this part right here to just kind of scoop out that gel, put it on your edges, and then brush it out. And, you know, because this is so small and a little firm, but still soft bristles, you just kind of brush your edges down well. So I've got, I got this for my edges, but then... I came across these two brushes so first I came across this one I was like oh it's so perfect and handy and it was a dollar fifty nine at the dollar not at the dollar store at the beauty supply store and I was like oh my gosh that'd be perfect for my edges so I got it from my edges but then when I tried it I was like no that's not good for my edges because the bristles are I mean I want soft bristles I don't want rough bristles because you got to be careful with your edges but it's like too soft and it's the beauty supply store so I couldn't take it back but it's only $1.59 so I thought this would be really good on those rare occasions that I do wear my hair straight say I have a few flyaways I can spritz a little hairspray on here and then just brush brush away the flyaway then I was in Walgreens and I came across this little brush and I think this was about the same price I don't remember who makes this because there's no tag on it but this one is perfect for your edges so because it's more tapered than this one and the bristles are still soft but they're a little firmer so I love this one for my edges I just use the back part dip a little bit in the gel smooth the gel onto my edges with this part and then I just brush the gel in and it's great it's small tandy because normally before this I was using like a baby toothbrush or like a denture toothbrush which when I found those at the dollar store I was like oh especially the denture toothbrush everybody uses a regular toothbrush but when I found the denture tooth denture toothbrush I was like oh that's so perfect because there's like two sides and it's bigger than like a regular toothbrush and it worked really good but this is even better so if you're looking for something to brush down your edges or if you use a toothbrush, try one of these from Walgreens. I usually use a oversized wide tooth comb, but I saw, I forget what video I was watching, and the girl mentioned this comb and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So I got this one. This is also $1.59 from the beauty supply store, and this is a jumbo rake comb. So the reason I love this comb though for my hair is because I have really, really thick hair. So when I'm detangling my hair after, of course, I finger detangle it, when I'm like combing through it, not only are these a little pointier to kind of like get in those roots, but because the comb is so long, it just like really gets through like my thick hair 
really really well next i have this mill creek botanicals biotin conditioner so this strengthens hair shaft restores softness ph balance no artificial colors paraben free i used this one time mm, nothing, i don't know didn't really do anything special i got it because this i mean biotin conditioner i was like oh anything to help make my hair grow fast I want to try all the biotin and vitamins like in the hair finity vitamins break me out really bad but i was like well in a conditioner that i'm going to rinse out it's not going to like be in my system maybe that'll be better but i don't know i think i might take this back because it's maybe kind of like a pointless purchase i don't know it wasn't expensive it was pretty inexpensive i got it at gnc but when i re because i'd never heard about this when i researched it a lot of people got them at like a tj maxx or someplace so I guess there's different places that you can find this, but I found this at GNC. I've seen this brand in Walgreens before I've heard about it, never been curious about it, but then I heard that it's a good detangler. But I think, yes, this has silicone in it though, which is really, really bad because everything I use, I like to be, you know, super natural silicones, parabens, sulfates, all those kind of things. But sometimes this transitioning can be really, really tough and your hair can get really tangled no matter how much you try to detangle it. It can just get really, really tangled. So I thought maybe I would try this because I heard that it's a really good detangler. I'm going to try not to use it too much because there are silicones in it and I'm not going to use it like I'm just maybe going to try to use it to get through this next phase of the transitioning period where, you know, it, the hair gets kind of tangled. Um, this was $8.99. I got it at the beauty supply store which kind of sucks because once I try it if I don't like it I would like to have taken it back but when I went to Walgreens for it um because I haven't seen it at CVS only seen it at Walgreens I haven't seen it at Target either um they were out of it and they weren't gonna have it till like next week and when I want something I gotta get it like when I want it so I went to the beauty supply store found this there and of course whatever you buy there you can't take back so I'm kind of stuck with it whether I like it or not hopefully I like it but Basically, I mean, it says no sulfates, petroleum, alcohol, parabens, mineral oil, but they're silicones, which when you think about it, that's probably why some people think this is a really good detangler because there are silicones in it, which just allows, you know, the tangles to just kind of glide out of your hair. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see a review on this, let me know. I haven't tried it yet. The last thing I believe I have is... This so much moisture hydrating lotion and this is from as I am and this has vegetable glycerin aloe vera royal jelly and lavender flower extract this says it moisturizes your hair enhanced with natural botanical extracts providing deep hydration and incredible softness it also contains royal jelly a natural substance collected from queen honeybees known for moisturizing hair and rejuvenating the scalp so basically this tells you you know, once you've washed your hair, if you're going to do like um, any kind of like coil definition, like puffs, frohawks, afros, um, it says to distribute it throughout your clean hair and gently massage it in, applying it on the hair nearest the scalp. Lifting and picking will be a breeze. Fullness, discouraged shrinkage, can be reapplied daily or whenever needed. But it says if you want to use this to moisturize coil defined styles, you clean your hair, distribute it throughout the hair, style it, and then use their twist out cream. Whatever. Basically, it tells you two different ways to use this. That's everything from my haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see like a review or know more information about any of these products that I mentioned, leave it in the comment box below. I uh, hope you guys, as usual, are having an awesome day. And make sure you guys thumbs up this video. Please subscribe. Please follow me on my Instagram at allmyloves2. And I think that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.